Hey everyone, welcome back to Code with Row. In this video, I'm going to be going over making a simple HP bar the correct way. A lot of people use stuff like binding, which is not recommended. Binding functions directly for updating UI elements like a health bar can lead to performance issues, especially if the binding function is complex or the value it tracks changes frequently. And this is because bindings are evaluated every frame, which can be overkill for something as simple as a health bar that only needs to be update when the values of it actually changes. So what I'm gonna wanna do is just open up my third person blueprint character, so my BP underscore third person character, and all I'm going to want to do is just create two variables. So one will be uh, current health and I'll change it to type float, which will be current health and another one that's max health. And then when I compile and save, I'll be able to change the default values located here. You have to compile in order for this part to show. So I'll just set it to 100 for current health and max health. I'll also do 100. So now after I create my two variables, I'm going to go over to my third person map to my content browser. I'm going to go ahead under user interface and create two widget blueprints. And the first one I'm going to call, I'll call this stat bar, just because I might add more stuff to it later, like more than just an HP bar. And then another one, and I'll call this widget blueprint. This one will be called WPP player hut. Now file save all. So now in my WPP stat bar, I'm going to add a overlay. And in my overlay, I'm going to add two things, which is going to be a progress bar and a text block. And I'm going to make sure that the overlay is the parent of these two. And I'm going to rename my text block to HP text and make sure is variable is checked and my progress bar to HP bar and also make sure that is variable is checked. And when I'll right click my HP bar and I'm gonna actually wrap it with a size box. And for the size box, I'm gonna click on width override and height override. And for the width, I'm gonna select something like 400 and the height will be 35. And then for the text box, I'm gonna add a padding on the left of five just to give it a little bit of space here. And for the HP bar, I'm going to go ahead and under style, I'm going to change the tint to something a bit dark red. And then for the fill opacity, I'll do something like a brighter red. And if you can't see it, make sure under the progress tab, your percent is set to something like 0.5. I'll hit compile and save. And now what I'm going to want to do is go into the graph. A lot of tutorials will tell you to start binding. Um, no. So after you create that compile and save, and then in our next HUD, we're just going to add a canvas and then for the user created section over here, or you can just search for whatever you called your HP bar. So I call this HP or sorry, I call this WBP stat bar. I'm going to drag it here. And for this, I will just increase the size of this. So this X I put in 400 and then this one I did 35. And then I'm just going to add some, or actually I'll do it on the bottom, the center. So I'll hit compile and save and just make sure this text blocks in the center. I'll go back to my BP third person character. And what you're going to want to do is make sure that you can start taking some, make sure you can calculate the damage that you take. What I'm going to do is create a function and this is going to be a very simple function. And this is going to be called, this is going to be called get health. And in our get health, we're going to have two outputs. One will be called percent health and the other one will be called uh just text and i'll change this type for the text to text and the percent health will be an output of a float and now what i'm going to want to do in order to get our health i will get our current health divide and drag this out click the divide sign and then get our max health and this is all we need to get our percent health and for the text i'm gonna drag this out Drag the text out and select a format text. And now I'll just copy paste this just to make it more readable. And I'll just pin one. I'll just add the pin to it and I'll click add pin twice. So you can get rid of this. And then, and now I'll add the current health as my zero and max health as my one. And the format for this will be open curly bracket zero and then space slash space curly bracket one. And now I'm gonna go back to the event graph. And now if I were to go to my third person event graph in the open and drag this get health function, you're going to notice that it's going to be either a blueprint node kind of like this, or if you check this pure function, it makes it into just a get. And in our case, we're going to leave it as a pure function. So I'll add an event, any damage. And in this event, any damage, I'm going to bring out my current health and my max health here. And when I take damage, I want to get my current health and subtract it by the damage, which will be the value of our clamp float. So I'll drag this out and for the max health, I'll drag it out and do clamp float because this is going to be our max value. 
Z and minimum will be zero because we don't want our HP going to the negatives, even if we take more damage than our HP can allow. Our damaged health will be over here. The value that will actually subtract or be set to our new health. So I'll bring out the current health again and do a set health. So when we take damage, we set a new health, which is our current health minus the damage that we take. And now I'm going to create an event dispatcher because I'm going to need to reference this on my on my stat bar HUD or your HP bar. And I'll call this I'm going to call this update health. So I'm going to compile this and I'll call it. So for this uh, event dispatcher called update health, I'm going to add two parameters. One is going to be so health percentage, and then I'll add another one called health. And I'll change this to a type text for the health text. And the health percentage will remain a float. So I'll compile and save. And now I can do that get health function that we created here. And I'll drag this out the get health. And we'll connect our percent health that we calculated over here. And the text will connect to the text health. I'll hit compile and save. And now back over to our stat bar that we created. I'll go into the graph. And I deleted the tick and the other one. Um, generally, I just always advise never using tick. So now in my event construct, I'm going to cast this to my third person character. And it's okay because the construct isn't a looping event as in like a construct doesn't update every frame. And now for my casted third person, I'm going to drag out the object and get owning player pawn. And my target will be the user widget since we are in the user widget right now. And then I will drag this out and I'll bind the event to that update health we created. So I'll bind it to update health and because it's a dispatcher, it's going to show up here and oh, I need to set this as BP third person character as a target in the event. We're going to do a custom event called update health. And now when I drag this out, so I'll bring out my HP bar, get HP bar and my HP text. So for the HP bar, I'll set this one first. I'll do a set percent, which will connect the update health to set the percent and then the health percentage will connect here. And then for the HP text, we're going to set our text and our target right here under the widget set text text and our target is text and now the health text will update here and this looks good so now when i hit compile and save my errors will go away and i just need to do one more thing which is back in the bp third person character i'm just going to go to where my event begin play is and i'll push i'll pull this out a lot and it after my bp begin play i'm going to add a sequence and then what i'm going to want to do is cast to our player controller and then I'll get the controller, which our target will be the pawn. And then I want to actually show our WBP, our widget user blueprint that we created. So I'll create a widget and then I'll select that widget HUD that we created, which is our WBP player HUD. And the owning player will be the as player controller. And then I will add this to viewport and the return value of this will connect into the target. And then I also want to call the update health function that we made as a dispatcher. So I'm going to drag this out and call it. And the reason why we're doing this is because we want it to update at the very start to update on the first frame of the game starting, basically. And that's useful if you are not starting at the same current value as the default value. So this might be useful for if you respawn with less health than your max health. So then I'm going to bring out my get health function. And I'll just connect my percent health to the health percentage and the text health text and I'll hit compile and save. I've created a quick blueprint of a swinging axe that does damage every time I go near it, which will be in the next video. So let's go try these out. So now when I hit play, my current and max health are 100. So when I go near this, I take 30 damage because that's what I set the axe to do. And then if I go near this tornado, it's going to start doing five damage every second. And yeah, that's that's pretty much exactly what we wanted to see. So I didn't set anything for the on death function. I will make a video on how to set your character to ragdoll on death and a menu to restart the game and all that. But yeah, that's pretty much how you go over creating an optimized health bar that doesn't run every frame like in most other tutorials. But yeah, like, subscribe, comment. If you want to support my channel, my Patreon's in the link below. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Thanks.